So this past year in particular, I've heard many reports and news stories about the challenges that families with special education students faced when it came to 100% uh, virtual learning. And I was wondering if you could talk to us a little bit about you know, your perspective on this and what the unique challenges faced by these uh, student populations and these families was this year. Yeah, so one of the biggest challenges I think we saw this year was that IEP and 504 plans were really written to be executed in a face-to-face environment. So as kids started to work more and more online, it became very challenging to accommodate them using the accommodations that were written for what they would be doing face-to-face. Um, I think as we move forward, that's going to be something that special education teachers and you know schools start to really consider when they're writing goals and accommodations for students is what kind of learning environment are students going to be in. But it was really challenging this year to try to match up what a student was doing online with what obligations we had to fulfill in terms of accommodations that were written for a totally different environment. So that really caused... Um, you know, some challenges in terms of making sure students were getting everything that they needed to be successful. Um, Another challenge that really came up was um, lots of students were very used to, um, I guess, like side-by-side support when they were working. They're used to being in a resource room or having a teacher support while they completed their classwork. And a lot of online work is asynchronous, so it was really difficult for them to get used to working in that new fashion. Um, Students who receive services like PT or OT, um, that was really hard sometimes to do online because, um, you know, it's very difficult to help someone, you know, bend a knee or hold a pencil when you're not there to really help them do that. Um, So, you know, lots of times parents were kind of left to pick up the pieces here. And, you know, as this becomes less and less of an emergency situation and more of a situation that students are choosing to work online, this is something that we can probably, you know, decide to kind of clean up for students and, and think about ways that we can write IEPs that support online learning a little bit better. <laughs>